It is the testing lab of Silver Line by Anderson, where the company launches nine pound two by fours at 35 miles per hour into high velocity windows. This is a pretty severe test. It's not just glancing the window directly. VP Andrew Carr says the outside layer of these windows is supposed to shatter. That second level, though, will bend, but won't break. It did exactly what we expected to do. Their new line of impact-resistant windows also exposed to water infiltration, air infiltration, and structural testing. The purpose of these windows is to avoid that catastrophic damage. By keeping the debris out, you don't pierce the envelope. You keep the wind out and the home maintains its integrity. These windows are tested to meet the toughest safety requirements in the country, similar to what we'd see in Dade County, Florida. Here's how it works. The Silverline impact windows have a tough, rigid layer of plastic bonded between two pieces of glass. You can see after two hits from that two by four, nothing's pierced through. It is definitely about peace of mind, and Silverline windows definitely do that. We go through the most rigorous testing. Product manager Swati Jane says as homeowners rethink life along the coastline, more and more are choosing resistant windows like these as they rebuild from Sandy. It is the debris that flies around. We can't predict what's going to be coming towards your home. It happens quick, too. Once the wind enters the home, the pressure's unequalized. The roof often blows off of the home. And once the roof goes, the walls go and everything else. While New Jersey has strengthened building codes to reduce flooding risks, Carr thinks Sandy is a wake-up call that all the rules may need to be tweaked. I think Sandy absolutely reminds us of the fact that who knows when the next big storm is going to happen and that we should be ready. So yes, I do believe that code should be more universal when it comes to matters such as this. From the Silver Line Lab in New Brunswick, New Jersey, Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.